Welcome everyone. Today we have some very good news. As you might have seen on the title of this video and around YouTube, a number of big Genshin Impact YouTubers are making the change. So if I have a look, there's Empty Dashed, there's Tecton, there's Steel Submissions. Everyone is speaking about going for less spending in the game. So I had a look at the videos they had. So Empty Dashed posted this video about a day ago. And similarly, Tecton over here also talked about why it is important for us to not spend this much. And finally, you can see Zeo's video talking about him using the 4-star characters and not promoting more spending. Now, if you guys have been following my channel or if you're new to the channel, I am a very big advocate for spending less and I think this is a very good positive influence and those YouTubers are leading by example. If we come back to the dangers of gacha games and free-to-play games, I really want to touch on those and also talk about the resource that is available for you guys with the YouTube videos, the guides, about how is it possible to play the game with spending less of free-to-play, the parties we can make, how do we get more primal gems with free-to-play, and also what are the things we should be aware as the difficulty increase. And finally, I can show you guys more resources that can be gathered without spending money in the game. For example, the artifacts and also over here, finding more chests in the game. To many of our viewers, this comes as a surprise, is that most people don't spend over 300 or even spend over $50 in a video game, especially a free-to-play game. And most people who overspend in the game is usually caused by impulse, and this can bring quite a bit of financial stress. After your bank account deduct that much money from you, you realize how much you can buy and the things you could have had in real life if you didn't spend in the game. This also becomes a part of the psychological factor, guys, because the, the regrets and bad experience comes back in. And if you repeat the impulse spending and then repeat the regret, very soon this might turn into addiction. And this becomes a form of gambling because gacha with those extremely low rates and the shining light and everything really resembles the casino, you know, the jackpot machine, everything that's resembling over there to try to get you to spend more money. Unlike most forms of gambling, which requires you by law to be over the age of 18 or 21, most of the free-to-play gacha games have no limitation, and those animated attractions are really strong towards kids or the audience who are not mentally prepared for this kind of games. And those unsuspecting new players are easily influenced by social media. That's why I want to re reinforce, guys, that's why it's so important for big Genshin Impact YouTubers and you know all of those social influencers to actually have positive influence. And I'm super happy, again, I'm super happy, really happy to see, you know, Empty Dash with a lot of subscribers. I'm super happy to see Tecton and also Zeus to just making the change and actually taking a step forward. Because often we see those videos, you know, people talk about $1,000, $5,000, $9,000. There's a lot of spending. And if you guys had a look at one of our previous videos, which I compared my $15 account with a $20,000 USD account with an anonymous interview with one of the friend of a friend who actually spent quite a much in the game, you can see that I tallied out what he had, what I had, and the difference does not worth like, you know, this much times of money. Maybe people spend for $50, maybe $100 if you really enjoy the game, but it's definitely not worth going all out, and people do not spend this much. Now, if you haven't subscribed, this is a really good time to do so. Make sure you also turn the bell on for the latest news as I find more of them for us. You can see that we're really dedicated for Genshin Impact. We'll have builds, guides, tips, news, and events updates for everything that's Genshin Impact related. And on the topic of not overspending, I really want to reinforce that at our YouTube channel, Majestic Multigaming, our channel is dedicated for free to play and low spending players. I have played multiple gacha games before mobile games and I never thought of making a video of it because I know how much of a cash grab it can be. I never want to promote something that can lead you to financial stress, psychological factors or even addiction. So I never made those videos. And you can see all of the resources I provided guys. Even when I first started making the Genshin Impact videos, I really really want to touch on the effect of the dangers of free to play. And I try to post on Reddit, I try to post on YouTube. I really want to get the message out there. So we never encourage overspending and always I'll be looking for free to play friendly methods to get more resource, to get more guides, to get more tips and more builds for us. I'll be looking to make some of the four star character work and also the weapons of the four star weapons that can work. Those weapons will not be, you know, the super broken rank six weapons with six duplicate. Those are just simple weapons, maybe with one duplicate, maybe with no duplicate, maybe from the blacksmith. We'll look towards the free to play characters and also the weapons and also the set pieces with artifacts. And also I'll be looking to making a party that is achievable and doable with low spending or no spending at all. 
and this will consider probably using Noel as a part of the team, and we might consider using some of the four-star characters that can synergize very well. I'm sure most of you have noticed that we have frequent updates of the news and events that's related to the game, where there's new content, new update, new interesting factors, things we can prepare for the next patch, or just ways to get more primal gems and rewards. What I dedicate myself is to get as much free-to-play experience and as much resource as we can. And in order for us to have a good time as a free-to-play or low-spending player, it is very important for us to save and collect all of those primal gems and the rewards. You can see that I've been posting where the chests are, where the, you know, the treasure is, where can we get more primal gems, and whenever this event coming, guys, I'll be there for you guys. Now, before we finish this video, guys, I really want to touch on two points that's considered the paywall in gacha games, and how those paywalls work in Genshin Impact. If you had a look over here, this is spoken in more detail on this particular video about those points being used. That's the first time I actually made the notes for it. I really want to touch on them quickly because you can see the big streamers, the big YouTubers are saying that spending doesn't equal to happiness. Because if we made that if we made the habit that spending equals to happiness, then this becomes a small gambling addiction. And this can grow massive, massive, simply because the you know the financial stress and also the need for us as humans we won't be happy just with spending 50 this time next time we have to spend 60 or 70 or even 100 to just satisfy the craving so never give yourself the opportunity to develop a gambling habit and also there are progression paywalls in Genshin Impact you might be finding yourself very slow with getting your adventure level after adventure level 30 or even 35 and then what you're going to find is you might be thinking, hey, what if I spend a little bit? But if you come back to our videos over here, you can see that the comparison between me who actually didn't spend much and also the player that spent a lot, the adventure level difference really slows down after adventure level 40. So no matter how quickly he goes, eventually I'll catch up with him with adventure level 40 and 45. Now, on the point of increasing difficulty with high adventure level, I did prepare a guide for us over here, which I talk about the numbers, the experience required with getting to adventure level 40 and how it can be a trap. Now, do keep in mind, guys, during the making of that video, I was not thinking clearly. A lot of those numbers were calculated because I was rushing in time and those numbers are not multiplied properly. What I did was I pinned the message under here and you can see that I did apologize for being a little fatigued during the making of that video. So a few of those numbers are not correct. So make sure you double check. So the risen cost for getting the character is definitely not 1,800. The risen cost in total is much, much lower. About 300, 400 or even, you know, 500-ish. It's not this high. And finally, if you guys have problem with boss mechanics, preparing food, potions to have high damage against those difficulties, we do have videos of those. So search on the channel for food vendors, for potion making, for food making tier list, for boss mechanics, we have lots of resources prepared for you guys. And also we have videos talking about how we can spend a reason and manage the energy of the stamina system and how we can match our current needs and plan for the future needs. To summarize this video, Again, guys, I am super happy to see big YouTubers actually making the change because they have so much influence on people and younger people who never play gacha games can be influenced by social media so much. And understanding, guys, the impulse, the dangers of impulse spending, the psychological factors, and not wanting to develop a gambling habit really stops you from spending too much. And on the point of the dangers of gacha games, I will not have any names, but a lot of the viewers I came and spoke to also reinforced that the fact they realized they spent too much, and it was so much nicer for them to realize that you don't have to spend this much in the game. So a lot of the viewers I came across, they also spoke about it. And, you know, they said it's really helpful that I actually talk about it. And this also motivates me to talk about it a little more and to go further with it. To promote the importance of enjoying the game with low spending, having positive influence on the community, and also to create as much free-to-play resource as I can. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news. I'll be looking towards to make more builds, guides, tips, and news and event updates for us as we come further into the game. And as always, I wish you guys the best of luck with catching and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world.